this is Artsy Wisdom. My name is Diane. Thank you for coming by. Today, I am going to answer some viewers' questions that I have felt drawn to answer. And I love your comments and questions, so continue to do that. Sometimes I, I don't have a sense about those particular questions, so I wait and I wait for the time when I feel like it's ready and sometimes even forget. So I do review sometimes to try and remember and keep track of everybody. Today, we are going to, I'm going to look into the debate, which is tomorrow. And I want to see how the the low end and the high end, I have this sense that free will, well, I know there's not a sense, free will is occurring in every minute of every day. So I'm going to get a feel for the lowest possible outcome and the highest possible outcome. And we'll see where that goes. I also, a viewer had asked me about Scotland. I'm going to look into that. I'm also going to look into the Senate race between Larry Hogan and Angela, um, also Brooks, interesting name. I'm also going to look into the volcanic volcanic activity around Yellowstone and all these shifts in the seismic plates all over the world into the seismic plates all over the world and how those have been shifting and I can't help but think that is related to all the shifts the great shift I've been talking about Pluto's going back into Capricorn for a couple of months until after November 19th, and then it's going to stick around in Aquarius. We physically, emotionally, spiritually, creatively, um, politically, economically, we're all going through these big changes and in your own life. So why wouldn't the earth go through the changes as well? That's what's happening. So I'm going to look into that. Um, and the future of Iceland. Iceland is getting more and more people, and I think it's growing. And I wanted to look into how they are going to grow. And I think that's it. Scotland, I did that. And also, um, somebody had asked me about UAE, UAE, United Arab Emirates, and Qatar. And is it a good idea to go and work there for a job? I'm going to look into that. So let's get started. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> it's a bug. Um, so... Right now, let's get started. I'm going to start off with, oh, before I forget, I had a little epiphany today. I was sitting out watching our beautiful calm lake this morning, having my coffee. And I ask for guidance all the time. And sometimes I really um, connect with it. Today I did. I realized where miracles happen. You know, you go in and out of this belief that yes, they are, but then you, your head goes off and you're like, I ah, know this isn't right. And this is my reality. How could that be? But what I found out and what I received was when we we're in our present state, when we are present, the energy or the etheric body, which is right here, is where that information of God, that miracles, that infinite infinite possibilities is right in front of you. It's your faith. It's having a trust that all is well. So as I grew up, I realized yeah, I always had faith that everything would be fine. But then life happens, you know, different things. And you get, you know, sad because stuff in reality isn't working. But I realized I would go in and out of that place. So I've always had this, but I didn't realize where it was. So it's fascinating that this information from God, the oneness, you know, it's the like the fourth dimension, the fifth is, um, I think the pureness and God out in the universe, but the closest, and I felt like it was right here and I could see the light coming down. And if I stay in there, in that place, it showed me that all is possible. Now we do have to use our human physical lives. We can't just expect it to land in our lap. We do have to take action. But so that was the other thing I got. And so I'm going to practice getting into that state of being present and allowing that space to be filled with joy because that was the other thing I got was that it feels really joyful. It feels very happy. So you follow that feeling and that's manifesting that anything is possible. So it's really exciting. So I wanted to share that with you. Okay. Thank you for all your comments, likes, subscribes. Um, you guys are lovely. I really appreciate it. So we're going to start off with... I'm going to start off with Scotland. I had already looked at, I pulled a bunch of cards already, and but I'm going to tell you what I saw. I saw that Scotland isn't making any 
they're going through a sh- kind of a shift like everybody is, but I saw them as not going through that many changes. They want their autonomy. They always have, right? But this feeling I have is they're being very careful. The premier, president, I got a couple of king cards, the king of swords, king of cups. They're very careful about how we move forward, maintaining our identity. Some of it may relate to immigrants. I don't see anything like massive movements over, but I do feel like some of that's involved. Some of it is about who they are as a a country. I also felt like very sturdy, like my legs were thick and like stocky, like I'm like, I don't know if you can imagine a Scottish person. I mean, no offense to all Scottish, but a man and like old dude, don't, you know, don't tread on me get away. This is our life. This is how we do this. And they want to keep it consistent. I'll pull some more cards on that. But that's what I got before. And it was really positive. I don't see any big shifts. I do feel like it's more about maintaining what we have. Let's grow in a way that keeps us Scotland. And I don't feel bad about the economy. On the southwest part of the country, I felt a positive there's something going on there it's more empty there's an issue with that over there not that it's empty but there's an issue or some activity down there so i'll pull some cards just to kind of how about this oh this one and this one queen of pentacles now it's two queens before it was two kings so it was pentacles which is money and thinking and getting and being accurate accurate and finding partners this is the two of two of cups working together um, and that could be England or it could be other countries, but I feel like it's almost like a love fest between each other in Scotland. We love our, we love our, our country and we want to maintain it. So I don't feel, whoever asked me, I don't feel any big changes there or, um, like earthquakes or storms or anything. I feel like it's mostly about maintaining. So it's good though. It feels good. Logical. Whoever's in charge or whoever's working together, if it's a parliament or a, being really smart about it okay um mcconnell's future now the turtle i did see him as not going anywhere he is going to stick around when harris wins the election he will um they're already planning a strategy alternate strategy project 2025 won't be executed because trump isn't going to win and you know, they wanted to get Trump in there, the 25th Amendment, kick him out and then put J.D. Vance in there. I think that was the greater plan. So he's not going to win. But I do think McConnell, I felt like he is going to go down fighting. He's going to be like Diane Feinstein, where he's not leaving until they take him out on a stretcher. That's the feeling I get. Um, the Nine of Cups, the Four of Pentacles. Yeah. So this is about maintaining what we have. Don't want to lose it. I mean, I'm going to take care of you guys. I'm going to keep all our money. And it's about money and getting, they've got an alternate plan that they're already in the works. So if Harris wins, they're going to say, we're going to do this and this and this. You know how he was like a, a, a wall against Obama. He fought so hard to let Obama do anything. Then all the justices got in and the conservative justices through him so he's going to continue doing that to the point, And he's not going to be emotional about it. Very unemotional. This is Queen of Swords. Like, I don't care. This is my job. Very, very good. And Queen of Pentacles. Wow. So I think he's not going to go anywhere. And that's the future after the election. I don't know how many years he's got left. I know he's had these micro strokes or mini seizures or freezings. Um, but I don't see him going anywhere. Time, you know, is nebulous. There's free will. But... Uh, yeah. So somebody had asked me about the volcanoes in Yellowstone. Tell you what I saw. There's been the Old Faithful geyser. Um, I think it shot up extra high for a week or whatever it was. The plates that are under Yellowstone, I don't feel, I feel like they're kind of locked. I don't feel like they're, they do move, but I don't feel as if the seismic activity, it's like so, more solid. I do feel like the earth opens, but volcanic activity or the earth underneath does not spew out that I could tell. It's almost like somewhere else, 
that's where it's coming out. And it feels more solid. And it feels like, yes, the geyser goes and there are sporadic, sporadic little ventings. Doesn't I don't know if it'll ever go away, but uh it just feels more not very active, even though I know the geyser went, but it's I think somewhere else it's venting more and more. So it doesn't it can't explode there. Now what I did also came up to mind was you know, the TV show Yellowstone streaming. It's uh, Taylor Sheridan wrote it and uh, he was a cowboy. But I wanted to suggest or submit that the earth is an energetic body. It's organic and we are part of it. We're part of the universe. We're all connected. And even though he's a cowboy and that's, you know, the title of the show, there is a connection where we feed, we're a catalyst. The earth, we all communicate in a subliminal subconscious way and I think part of the energy is he picked up on and part of the energy of the bigger shift all around that is him creating that dynamic or that storyline and it's almost like it's like a symbiotic relationship in a way and the energy fed into him and and that energy is drawn to because he made it more visible not that people didn't know about Yellowstone but it even became more more popular and visible because of the show and the energy there is shifting and he's fed into that and the whole show has and because we're all related it's all part of this greater shift you know so I loved 1883 I thought that was amazing and Faith Hill and Tim McGraw were great in it and the girl that plays Elsa I think her name is it's like, great. But 1923, too violent for me. I couldn't handle it, even though it might have been accurate. And then um, the Yellowstone and then the new one, Horizon. It'll do fine on on uh, Netflix or streaming. But yeah. So I'm going to pull a couple cards again on any volcanic activity or shifts there. Eight of Pentacles working. Yeah, I think. No. And then there's a five of wands there's a lot of activity but it's not going anywhere it's not shooting out it's not blowing up it's not it's minor it's minor activity in the ground I mean so there's that all right, all right. some viewer had asked me about the Iceland and uh, student visas and oh, that popped out and I'm gonna look into the future of Iceland so what I got earlier was it's sort of similar to Scotland in a way where they're growing and they see tourism growing and they see a lot of influence from outside and they are really putting the kibosh, not stopping it, but very carefully planning out. Iceland feels very controlled in a way, I'm not sure, but it feels more organized and um, careful. They want to grow. They want to use this influx of time and money and people to grow tourism, to but also maintain their climate, you know, their weather, all that has to, because they're in a vulnerable place up there. And not that they can maintain the climate, but they want to participate in a way that's responsible. So that is what I saw with them. And I also felt like whoever the premier woman, man, I feel like it's a woman, but I could be wrong. Um, they're very, really very carefully, I got the high priestess, so maybe that's what I'm thinking, working behind the scenes, making sure that um, people may not understand what is happening behind the scenes completely, but there is some discussion and challenges from tourism, people that want to make more money faster, and they're getting a lot of pushback. So they are going to move forward, and this is the Eight of Cups, and maybe leave a little bit of the old world behind and do things a little bit different and be more creative. And then Ace of Pentacles. I think I actually got that last time, beginning of money. And they're gonna make some money just carefully, carefully, carefully. Now, when it comes to student visas there, um, this person had asked about that. I feel like the student visas, they are um, possible, yes. And certain countries obviously are more accepted than others. The student visas, I think he was talking about somebody from Pakistan, and I felt like that was quite possible. Other countries, and I don't know why that would be Pakistan of all places, but maybe there's already a, a channel that they've established. But 
I feel like that's doable. They're very careful about, again, who they're letting in the um, migrant and immigrant population, refugees or whoever it is. I know this is a student thing, student visa, but I do think it's doable. And it feels... Yeah, I feel like they have to just do the application needs to be super carefully written or yeah, it's kind of has to be pointed and super carefully written. Somebody asked, I think it was the same person asked about UAE, United Arab Emirates and Qatar about jobs there. Now, what I saw was UAE is really restrictive. I saw a 40 story building and there's two stories that are where the people can come like and work there. The rest is all for local. And I I don't know if they're taking in people from the Asia or wherever, but it feels like it's more, it's an office building. So it feels more um, like something related to computers, finance, office related activities. It's not like mining or, you know, construction. It's more where you're working in an office. So there is a limited amount of people. They are wanting to go there to do particular things. They are growing and it feels they're also clamped down. I feel like they're, they do want this group tiny or specific type of job. They need them. They're very, those are very important. They're really actually reaching out to get those people, but they're kind of a slice of particular economy or a specific, you know, IT stuff or tourism. Three of Cups, or Three of Pentacles, excuse me. Yeah, working together. They're working to, it's some, oh, it's creative. Maybe it's a creative thing, too. Creating a new identity for them. Maybe that's something. Marketing kind of thing. Qatar feels messy. I feel like Qatar is wanting a lot of people to come. You got Page of Pentacles. They're reaching out. They're talking about it. But it's very higgledy-piggledy, like... Um, like people who do the paperwork, not the people coming in, but the government or agencies, it's haphazard. I don't know why I feel that way. It doesn't feel clean. It's almost like, yeah, you get on the boat, fill out this paper, come in, and then you'll do the other stuff. But it's not, uh, what's the word, sanctioned or something. I think there's people that are bringing people in that maybe aren't sanctioned or it's kind of that kind of vibe. And then eventually, if they don't get themselves squared away with the legitimate paperwork, they get kicked out. That's the feeling. It feels very disorganized. And I got the page of pentacles. Yeah, they're calling for people to come and, and maybe people are talking to each other. Hey, you can get these jobs over here and pays a lot. Maybe that's the thing too. The magician that just popped out. Yeah. So take it upon yourself. You're in charge. Whoever was talking about getting a job there. Qatar is looking for people. But it feels, maybe it has to do with international visas, trades, something like that. You have to be really careful and do everything on the up and up. Okay. So I looked into the Maryland race. Somebody had asked me about Larry Hogan versus Angela Also Brooks. And I pulled the cards on them. I got, I'll pull them again, but the image I got was... Um, Larry Hogan, who I think was Republican, but he was more of a moderate, and he actually went against Trump, and I think he's running for Senate. He was the governor, um, and I think he might be independent now, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, maybe he's still a Republican, but he, uh, the feeling I got was, yes, he's got a lot of positive people behind him, but it's like, there's also people really wanting change. And they feel like he has already gotten his part of the state. So they don't want to necessarily put him in office again. It's like a meh feeling that I get. Um, Larry Hogan, hanged man. So there's waiting. Knight of Wands. Well, Larry. okay. So there's three um, major arcana, which is waiting. So we have two moving and one waiting and... Um, let me show you the hanged man, which is kind of cool. 
spiritual, looking at things from a different perspective. Seven of Swords, fighting against, um, actually working really hard, been fighting, fighting, and getting some things back. But Knight of Wands, the Chariot. Let's look. Very lot of people see you. King of Pentacles. Well, they do see him as already having a lot. He's already got his piece of the pie, is what I was thinking. And then Angela, um, why can't I remember? Also Brooks. Ace of Cups. Four of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, and Queen of Pentacles. So it's funny. He's getting the King of Pentacles, and she's got the Queen of Pentacles. They want to see somebody new in there. They want to see a change. Maryland in the Senate seat. And we've got the Two of Cups. Yeah, so I'm going to choose. I'm going to say it's her. This is the partnership, the love, the, you know, romance can be usually or any kind of compatibility but one-on-one -on -one. and she's got two they got the queen of um she's actually i don't know if she's in the military a lawyer or she was a money person before or in finance but she's talking about or the feeling people are getting from her is that she's going to hold on and take care of Marilyn, whatever they need because it's her sentence she's going to not be wasteful as a democrat or maybe she is i don't know um these are the two queens. So we've got the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Emo unemotional, uh, being the executive, being smart, take no prisoners, the leader, and also making um, decisions based on what's the best for everybody and financially wise and security wise. So people see her that way. Yep, I see her winning. But time will tell. We don't know free will and all that. All right. Oh, I saw the devil when I lifted that up. So maybe somebody's going to do something sneaky to kind of like, I can, I picture somebody like Nancy Kerrigan. I mean, I shouldn't laugh, but Tanya, what's her name? Hit her, she hired people or a boyfriend, hit Nancy Kerrigan in the knees and broke her kneecap so she couldn't skate anymore. Why do I see that? Hopefully you don't do that. They're going to handicap Angela. Also Brooks. Hmm. All right, we are going to look at the the debate. But last but not least, the debate tomorrow. Very, very exciting. So I'm going to, I already saw kind of a mishmash. I'm going to look at it in the low end and the high end. How people see uh, VP Harris minimally, because I see, I've, I've watched people on TV talking about voters for Trump and they don't see she's, saying anything of value or showing what telling or telling us what she's going to do like no concrete things they can stink his, their teeth into think they think she's too vague so i have that in my mind um and then well we know trump and his lies and he's going to throw that out there but i also wanted to see will he achieve any more voters will he you know increase his base so vp harris tomorrow's debate um Tomorrow's debate. Okay. She's got, it's a mixed bag here. We've got the lovers. This is the first time I've gotten the tower with these new cards. The lovers, the tower, four of wands, which is a marriage and a celebration of uh, being, you know, celebration of togetherness or partnership we've got seven of cups which tells me she might be a little vague and she might throw a bunch of stuff out there kind of word salad -y. I'm a little nervous about that so on the low end she may um get thrown I think on the low end she might get thrown off her um plans like she wants to say certain things but he is disarming because of whatever how he responds or maybe the questions that the moderators ask or something and it she doesn't say it in a way that is satisfying for people to understand we do have the lovers so we have that card where she already has her base that's the feeling i get so that's not going anywhere I've got the Wheel of Fortune on the end, the final card. So that tells me ultimately it's going to be good. But for the low end, it's going to be a little bit more. It, the tower actually on the high end could mean surprises. She might actually throw stuff out there and say, 
you know, I'm going to do, I'm going to literally say all these, um, you know, policies I'm going to put in place day one. I'm going to sign executive decision for this. I'm going to work with the Congress to do A, B, or C. And that's what I'm going to do instead of, you know, joy. People just don't, some people, the Trump voters or people that were like in Trump don't feel like she's like valuable or she doesn't have enough strength and she's too vague and she flip flops. I mean, that's what they say. You know, it's not a secret. In the past, I thought sort of similarly, but now she's showing her strength and her fortitude. So I feel like it's better. There is some like options she's going to show on the high end. She's going to show, talk about everything she's going to do. Some of it may be confusing though, but she will on the high end. It's going to work out ultimately. You've got the lovers on one end and the wheel of fortune on the other bookending this. So I think it's going to come out okay. I think there's going to be a lot of surprises. Um, I th do think she's going to actually grow some of her base or grow some um, people, voters, during the debate. All right, let's see. Mr. Trump, what are you doing t tomorrow? Oh, we've got the Ten of Pentacles, the S Queen of Swords, the Four of Cups, or the Four of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles. So he's going to talk a lot about what he's going to do financially for people. On the low end, he is going to really promote, I gave you all this money. I gave you all these tax breaks. I am such a good business person. You guys are going to lose all this money if you don't vote for me. Let's, let's look at this from the higher perspective. People are going to look to him as saving them money because inflation and people are struggling, you know, with everyday costs. And I, I think Americans don't realize it's all over the world. Inflation is all over the world. Immigration, migrants are all over the world. They are. It's not just American. We live in a little bubble or a big bubble in the U.S. It's the case. I know that's the case. Queen of Pentacles. So we've got the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. So I do feel like he's appealing to women. He's going to appeal to women. He wants to get over that image of himself because he calls women nasty because they're mean and they say things and they don't like him so they're all nasty and um and then on um, i see this fish getting eaten fish to me looks like uh, movement and money even though the six of pentacles is giving him receiving money i feel like he's going to talk a lot about um how i made you money how good it was back then and People are going to see, oh, and here's the justice. Here's the scales. Do you see that? I know the scales are weighing, but I think he, okay, he's going to push it too far. On the high end, a lot about money. On the low end, I think he will not activate the Roe v. Wade, he won't act of all he could be talking about it, but I feel like he's not going to satisfy those women that he wants to bring over. He already has his base. I don't know if he can say anything to change them too much, but I do think some people will leave. But most of this feels about finances. Now, let's see who will, I don't know, winning that debate. Anybody, you ask a 45 people and then you'll get 45 different answers who won the debate who won the debate ace of pentacles meh two of swords and yeah i think there might be a little disappointment i saw this in the earlier part is this is them you know clanking their swords together fighting to the figuring out normally this is indecision but for this time i feel like they're gonna fight people were this is the meh card to me. Gosh, I'm really surprised. I thought she would um, really kick it or hit it out of the park because we have the Ten of Swords. Disappointment, but fear. So as they discuss, I think there's going to be some issues with the way they respond to the moderators, to each other. She might have a surprise in store or the surprise is how she doesn't do as well as we hope. I got, this is the death card on the other side. Doesn't mean it's bad. It's just very interesting. Um, it's the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. 
great shift. This week is very, and I said in my last video, this week is going to be very energetically volatile. Um, Knight of Swords. But as media does, we'll move past it pretty quick. And, oh, and then we'll, oh, Hangman the Moon. <laughs> I think it's going to make it even more confusing, people. Shoot. I don't think it's going to be obvious. But the media will make it go quickly and we'll get to the next new cycle and they'll bring up something else. How's that? All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming by. Please subscribe, all those things. And I love your comments and take care till next time.